Hello everyone, this is Eric Pan from City Studio. It has been a long time that we do any like video showcase of our products. And uh, I have invited Evelyn today to join the show. Uh, so you have, we have a lot of stuff going on these weeks. We have been very busy trying to back, get back to operations. And you will see we have a few products coming from um, January to March and uh, we have more coming. So what do we have today? Um, let's pick one to start with. The buzzer. This has been in this market in our web store for too many years and we're tired of it. So we have something new. It's the passive buzzer. Okay. Do you know what's passive buzzer? Oh no, you gotta tell me what is it. So I, I cannot tell you because it will tell for itself. This is our latest wire terminal. Remember to buy one. So you, you have to use that wire terminal. Oh, you can use everything. You can use the C you can use, Cidino, you can use wire terminal, you can use Raspberry Pi plus hand. What you need to do, you just plug in the buzzer. Okay. You like it? No. Why? Because it's noisy. It's noisy. Because the buzzer was for alarm, to alarm you to wake you up. But this is our new buzzer. It's much easier than doing this. Oh. Uh, okay. Does this sound as bad? It sounds like a melody. It's not sound like alarm. And of course, with one terminal, you can switch the music easily. Oh, you got I have to go back. Where is the Super Mario music? Ah, that's the right button. Duh, duh. Okay. So, so how, how much of that model? Uh, Too much the price, it's very really affordable. So it's how a, much? It's the same price as the old one. Even it's very neat, neat, new, and we put the old ones here, you see difference. Okay, we have very limited inventory, you have by now, or we'll uh, wait for another month. So, what's next? Uh, the gas sensor? Yes, I think. Which one? Oh, Are this in? This old one. Okay. Yeah, that one's the new one. So, because the old one has some accuracy problems, we made another one with four modules on it, with similar price. So with the multi-channel gas, uh, sorry, I, have, I forgot, what can I do? What's the difference? What do you mean that? Like, like because it has four cores? Yeah, like, like the old one only has one module and that the new one has four. So, so you, you can tell more gases? I don't know, it's more accurate or something. Uh, so, so I don't know. Accurate is more. It's more accurate. So as we need to like uh, have more environment sensing, no matter it's indoor or outdoor, this is uh, very convenient, and uh, it's not nice to have. Sometimes it's a must. So on TV, oh, this one is totally um, how say means our attitude. We hear from our customers from forum. Uh, if you haven't checked out forum for recently, go check it out. Uh, we have. Been a lot of players play, uh, making new module like systems as growth. We see it from uh, Quick from Sparkfun. We have uh, Stemma from uh, Adafruit. They are very good add on to the ecosystem. And we don't want to force our customers to choose which one to use. So we make a compatible module between Groove, Quick, and the Stemma. So you can very easily just plug in the, the Stemma sensors into it. And I have a Groove module then you can use all the module you use on the two different systems. Okay? So if you want to see it, it's something like this way. Uh, what's next? There are too many things we need to be quick. Okay, so, so the next one should be... The Guru Beginner Kit? Yes. So you have a very pretty good uh, Beginner Kit video, and if you have seen it, go check it out. We have been thinking about this product for many years because Guru has been a very mature uh, system and without the uh, or the cable line circuits, you can just uh, power it up and use it right away. It's not only for Arduino only. You can we will be preparing more like demos with AI. How do how do you do machine learnings with more sensors? How do you like uh, use make your system learn from the physical world? So we will we keep doing this one. And uh, are we going to do an unboxing of it? 
relationship is so core, the easiest way to get started with Arduino. We want to make it as easy as possible for users to get started. We integrate 10 common use Arduino modules and the control board, C General Loctus, into a single PCB. Loctus is fully compatible with Arduino Uno, and all the modules are connected to the pins of Loctus. So, no breadboard, no soldering, no even jumper cable are needed. We have a red LED, a buzzer, a high brightness OLED, a push button, a rotary potential ometer, and a bunch of sensors. We have per program this kit and burn the program into this kit. So, user can experience each sensor when they open the box. The default dem demo is about light sensor. The light sensor is used for detecting the visible light and it outputs the analog signal value. The stronger the light, the higher the value. Well, just long press the button to exit the demo and rotate the Rotary potential ometer to select the other demos. We have the sound sensors, a DHT11, temperature and humidity sensor, the air pressures and a free access isolation sensors in this kit. So let's show what you like. Okay. Um, you might see from the news here that uh, this one is right now under manufacturing. You will see in our web store and in our distributors uh, web store version, and the price is very appealing. It's just the twenty dollars or less. Okay. So, if you are choosing to bring your kids or your other friends into the open hardware or the maker world, that's uh, the best one to start with. But uh, for the f the recent uh, release, we are going to. Have this free one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a USB disk. With, at least in China, downloading from all the IDEs to have all the uh, add-on to install is very difficult and slow. So we made a USB thumb disk, and you get them shipped along with the kits. Unbox, plug into a computer, and it's good to use. But more exciting is uh, the wild terminal series. After so many trials, because it's uh, uh, coronavirus, a lot of supply chain has been break down. Now we are trying very hard to put the first injection molding working, we put the assemblies, now this is the first batch. The earliest buyers will have them um, before anyone else. And meanwhile, we are working very hard on the recomputer series. The, uh, this is the first uh, sample, but this, as of today, we have something big. Have you seen something like this? No. You should. It's very similar to your window. Window? Yeah, along your window frame, it's oh. made of aluminum extrusions. So it's the same material and the same process. You use aluminum extrusions to make the enclosure in this kind of cylinders. Then you cut through them into different uh, height. And you use CNC. Do you know what I say? CNC? See, it's a computer controlled mining device to make the, this trunk into more or less elegant enclosures. And uh, also, after that, you will use some chemicals. You want electricity is to give it a different color from these nice green ones to green ones. I'm not sure which one you like. You can pick the color you like, right? We'll, we'll first sh ship what we designed for, the blue ones. Oh, but okay. after that, maybe we can have some campaign that the people can vote different colors from gold, green, and we will, according to your votes, to make different colors in the future. But I'm sorry for, uh, to those who has pre-ordered the enclosure and we haven't shipped. We will try to push them out the soonest. And uh, after uh, you get them on your hand, please share your feelings about that. So that's basically today. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm very excited for what's happening and we're going to have more stuff coming out next week. We'll keep you updated through this new form factor by video. And next uh, week, Evelyn will pick up more contents.
Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Have a safe week. Bye-bye. Goodbye. -bye. Goodbye.